Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about the price for accomplishing your dreams. And specifically, I'm talking about your coaching business dreams. So the business you're wanting to create for yourself, becoming an entrepreneur, creating income, clients, freedom in your life. And the reason I want to talk about this is it actually recently came up for a number of my clients where we were talking about the difference between the dream of having a coaching business and the freedom that comes along with it, being able to set your own schedule, being able to work from anywhere, potentially being able to make as much money as you want. And that's really what we think of and what we, a lot of us kind of have in our, the back of our minds. But what happens is that once we get started with our business, we face the reality of what actually is required to make your business successful. And this is where I see a lot of people drop out. <laughs> they decide that it's too challenging, it's too hard, and they're not gonna do it. And this is why there's a lot, a lot of coaches who have gone through, they've gotten certified, they're interested in coaching, they really wanna do it as a career, but they don't actually go on to create a successful business with it, okay? And so I wanna talk about this today, and I wanna give you the reason why this happens so that you can see it for yourself <laughs> in your own head and what's going on for you, okay? And so I'm gonna explain it by using something called the motivational triad. And this is something that explains how our brains function. And specifically, I'm talking about the primitive part of our brain, which is the part of our brain that helps us survive. Um, it's the animal brain, the part of the brain that all living creatures have, right? And so what this part of our brain tells us to do is to seek pleasure, avoid pain, and conserve energy, okay? This is the main part of our brain that is really driving a lot of our actions. And what I want you to recognize is that it's normal for you to want to do these things. Um, the, it's really like this is the part of our brain that makes it very challenging for a lot of people to lose weight, right? Because we don't, <laughs> we, our brain tells us sit on the couch, eat yummy food, watch Netflix all day. It doesn't tell us go and work really hard, right? Um, and so we have to fight against that part of our brain or use the higher functioning part of our brain to overcome those instincts that we have to sit around and not do a whole lot, okay? And this really comes into play when you become an entrepreneur because you have no one else telling you what to do. So I want you to recognize for yourself that your brain is gonna be telling you to sit around, do nothing, don't do anything that's too challenging, and eat lots of yummy food, okay? And so what happens is we have to learn how to use the higher functioning part of our brain, which is the frontal part of our brain. Um, as humans, we're lucky that we have this part because it allows us to think about the future and plan for the future and be able to make decisions based off of things other than just what's happening right now, okay? And so I'm gonna talk specifically about each part of the motivational triad and how I see it show up and sabotage a lot of entrepreneurs. So the first one is to seek pleasure. And for a lot of us, we want to seek pleasure right now, right? Like we wanna be doing pleasurable things right now. We wanna be sitting outside right now. We, <laughs> we wanna be watching Netflix, eating the food right now. And so when it comes to accomplishing our goals and our dreams and our business, we have to put, up, put off that drive for immediate pleasure right now for the prolonged pleasure of having a successful business and doing the work 
and allowing the time that it takes to create those results we want in our business, okay? And a lot of entrepreneurs get really stuck with this and they want things to happen right now. Um, and I think even with a lot of the marketing we see, it can be a little confusing because a lot of times people are marketing things that say like, you know, create a really successful business in 30 days. And I think sometimes we think like, oh, I should be, things should be happening faster when reality for most people to create a successful business, whatever that means to you, it does take some time and it takes the effort and it takes the consistency. Okay. And so we really have to keep this in mind. And that's the same thing as far as when it comes to weight loss. So if you're thinking about your clients, they're wanting to lose weight, they have to give up that immediate pleasure of eating food right now or sitting on the couch and not doing anything for putting off eating the food or eating the healthy food as opposed to the junk food and you know, getting out and getting some movement into their lives, right? And so that's not what our brain naturally wants to do. And so we have to use that higher functioning part of our brain to overcome those those drives that make us want to have the pleasure right now. The key to growing your business and the key to weight loss, overcoming health challenges, all the things that we help our clients with, okay? So that's number one. Number two is avoid pain. And specifically when I'm talking about avoiding pain for entrepreneurs, it's typically talking about mental pain, okay? And so it's the pain of possibly failing, of making mistakes, of wondering what people are gonna think of you, being afraid of saying the wrong thing, maybe making mistakes and being humiliated, um, feeling like you have to start before you are totally ready, the fear of investing into your business when you don't have proof that it's going to work. Um, so these are the, the pain that a lot of us are trying to avoid when it comes to starting our business. And the thing is that these are necessary. They're a necessary part of growing a successful business. Um, we have to be willing to possibly fail, to make mistakes, to put ourselves out there, to get visible, to do things that we've never done before. Your brain doesn't want you to do that. It's saying, no, 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 don't do it. Don't, don't create a video. Don't put yourself out there because it wants you to stay safe, right? It's, <laughs> this is how your brain functions. And so in order to be a successful entrepreneur, you have to go beyond the, this programming in your brain and look at the fact that the pain that you experience is okay and it's not going to hurt you. And this is really the key to understanding growth and transformation because in, in order to make changes, we go through pain or what I like to call discomfort um, mental discomfort of doing things we haven't done or facing failure, making mistakes. And the thing that we're afraid of and what you, I want you to recognize is that we're afraid of an emotion we're going to feel if that happens. So let's say you do make a mistake or you do fail. Um, what you're afraid of is the feeling you're going to feel when you do that. Okay. And so if you feel, let's say humiliated, what you're afraid of is that vibration in your body, that vibration of humiliation, okay? Super powerful when you recognize this because a lot of times we're avoiding doing these things because we're so scared of our feelings. And when you recognize that your feeling is just a vibration in your body and it's not gonna harm you in any way, it's just uncomfortable to feel, then you have the freedom to do so many things so many amazing things. And this is truly where you see the difference between people who are successful in their business and people who are not. Because I like to say it's the people who are ballsy, who go out there and they take the chances that you really see making amazing things happen in the world. And I have just experienced this through different programs that I've been a part of and seeing all these different entrepreneurs and seeing that the people who are most successful 
are not necessarily the smartest people. They're not the most attractive people. They don't have the best ideas. They're the people that take the most chances. The people that aren't afraid of their feelings. They're not afraid of mistakes. They're not afraid of failure. And they put themselves out there and they do it even though they don't know exactly how it's all going to work out or what the result's going to be. They're not afraid of making mistakes. They're not afraid of failing. And they go out there and they go out there big and they make big things happen, even if they fail and make mistakes because they get up and they keep going and they learn from those things. So I really want you to hear this part because it's so important and it's what holds so many entrepreneurs back. And I want you to just check in with yourself and ask yourself, do, are you avoiding your, are you avoiding doing things in your business that would help you be successful because you are scared of the feelings that might happen if you don't get the results you want. Okay. Let me know in the comments and let me know, like, what is it that you're most afraid of feeling? What are you afraid of happening? Because when you can recognize this, it gives you a lot of power because a lot of times we're afraid of these things that we don't even put a name to. We don't even really recognize. And they just are like this kind of thing that you're afraid of, but you don't really know what it is. So once you know what it is, that gives you a lot of power because you can actually see it and be like, oh, that's not really that big of a deal, right? Okay, so let me know in the comments below, what is it that you're most afraid of? What is holding you back, okay? And then number three is conserving energy, okay? So this is one of the driving motivational triads in our brain that is telling us what to do in our life, okay? Telling us how to act. And so your brain always wants you to conserve energy. Uh, because back in the day when we were trying to survive as cavemen, cave women, <laughs> your brain didn't want you spending a lot of energy because it wanted you to conserve calories because usually we had a limited source of food. That is no longer the case for us, for most of us. And so we have to overcome this functioning and we have to do things that do take energy. And for a lot of people don't recognize that actually becoming a creator, a teacher, someone who puts value out in the world, it's very energy intensive um, because you're actually creating something, okay? And so you need to be willing to do it and willing to try it and keep trying it and get better at it. Um, and the other thing that goes along with that is making powerful decisions. So making decisions in general takes a lot of energy. So as an entrepreneur, we become the CEO of our business and that requires making a lot of decisions. And so it's much easier for us to be an employee a lot of times, have someone telling us what to do, not necessarily be the one that's out there creating everything. It's less energy intensive for most of us, right? Um, so. The other thing that I want you to keep in mind as well is that where I see a lot of people get stuck with this is they get into a pattern where they are continually learning and absorbing more information, um, doing more courses, watching more videos, more trainings, more webinars, but they're not taking action to implement what they are learning. And the reason why a lot of people get stuck in this is because absorbing information and learning takes a lot less energy and it also there's less pain potentially involved from step two as far as putting yourself out there. But we get stuck in this always learning phase because it takes less energy to learn and absorb information than it does to create, create value and put yourself out there in the world. Okay. So once again, like that's the other part of the motivational triad. Just want you guys to recognize these things because I think it's really helpful, first of all, to not like blame yourself and get angry. Like, why am I not getting the results I want? Like, because your brain is, is telling you to, to do these things, right? Your brain wants you to conserve energy, to avoid pain, to seek pleasure. But you also have another part of your brain, which is the higher functioning part of your brain where you can override these instincts and this is the part of your brain that allows you to create the business and the life you want. So you want to get good at using this part of your brain. If you have big dreams for yourself and things that you want to create, and that's what I want to help you with. Okay. So I hope you found this video helpful. 
I'd love to hear your biggest takeaway in the comments below. Is there something that I shared with you that you maybe hadn't thought of before? Did it help you change your perspective a little bit? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell, and you'll get a notification each week when I post a live video. And I also wanna let you know about a free training I have. It walks you through the five steps to making money as a health coach. And so I'm gonna put the link to that training right below this video. You can download it, you can watch it, go through it. It's a video training. I know you're gonna find it extremely helpful because it walks you through step by step what to do. And the last thing I have for you is if you're interested in getting support with your business, you want a mentor to walk you through the steps, give you feedback, tell you exactly what to be doing and how to get the clients and the income coming in that you want in your business. I offer free consultations, free business breakthrough sessions with me. So if you're interested in speaking with me about working together, I will put a link below this video and you can sign up for a free consultation call with me. So I want to sh thank you so much for joining me for this week's video and I will see you next week.